Live Vinyl Community. It's me and Phantom. This is our cat. I've been trying to get him in a video and he really doesn't want to be in the video. He's camera shy. But at least you got to see him a little bit. Anyway, um, gonna make some videos. Got some stuff to show. Woohoo! Don't knock the camera over. I will beat you. Um, so this is gonna be my heavy metal update and um, then I got some other things to show in some other videos so check them all out if you're interested they will all be labeled um, so first thing I got to show here um, in record stores by, um, flea markets thrift stores um, I don't think any of these came from the thrift, though. Uh, well, maybe a couple. Um, <clears throat> but these, most of these are metal. Um, there are some have, uh, hard rock in here, but um, here we go anyway. So the first thing I got here is the Cult. And these are the radio sessions. I'm a huge, huge cult fan, uh, amongst other things, but um, it's black vinyl, but it has a special labels on it. And I have listened to this, and it's really cool. It's um, I, I, when I they said radio sessions, I thought it was gonna be like them talking or whatever, but it's not. It's kind of, it's got like songs from their other records, but um, it's the radio versions of those songs. So, um, anyway, it's really cool. And uh, these was all from the BBC Radio um, Studio in London, 1984, 1985, and 1986. So it's really cool. There's the back. Never saw it before. Never heard of it before. So when I saw it, I had to have it. Uh, next thing I got here is Winger. This has got uh, 17 on it, which is one of my favorite songs by them. So, there's the back. Uh, it too is black vinyl. There is the sleeve lyrics. Um, and then, if you watched my Scorpions video, I said that I had um, the best of. I thought I had the best of volume one and volume two, but it ended up I actually have volume one twice, just different. Um, one was produced in Germany, one was produced in America. So I have two different productions of it. But now I have volume two. And this has got um, Longing for Fire, Catch Your Train, All Night Long. This is my song. It's got some good stuff on it. I love the Scorpion, Scorpions. Me and my boyfriend were just talking this weekend about how they just do not have a bad song. So, um, really happy to get this to add to my Scorpions collection, which is almost complete. Uh, next I have Turbo Judas Priest. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. So I picked it up. You know, Judas Priest is the, the bomb. So, can't go wrong with Judas Priest. The next one I have here, I wanted this so bad. It's been, I've seen it. This one place that we go to at a flea market, he's had this record for some time. 
and I keep going back hoping that it's still there and I can get it, but then I always find something else and I never get it, and now I have it. It's Blue Cheer, and it's self-entitled, I am assuming, because I could not find a title for it. Um, I have not listened to it, but I love Blue Cheer. He's got another one over there that I'm going to get eventually. Um, I, I, I have no words. I'm just so happy to have it. I have a lot of their stuff. This is one that I did not have that I never thought I'd see. So, to see it and to have it hold it in my hands is amazing. Um, so, Classic Rock, um, I got Steve Miller Band, The Book of Dreams. This has got, uh, Jet Airliner on it. It, too, is by Final. Um, let's see. Steve Miller Band's, you know, gotta have that in your collection if you like rock. Um... And this is an, an as-is record, but there's really nothing wrong with it. Um, but um, I picked this up this week. Um, a lot of people say she's punk. Uh, I don't think she's punk. I'd kind of classify her in... I don't know what I'd classify her. Maybe some of her stuff is punk. But anyway, it's Blondie. And there's nothing really wrong with the record. I don't know why it said that it was as is, because the record is, like, pristine. But, um, there's really nothing wrong with the jacket either. So, I don't know. Hey, I'll take it for $1.99 as is. Um, so there's that. And that's all I have for this video. Um, drinking my high brew coffee, dark chocolate mocha. It is delicious. And if you like coffee, you should try this out. Um, that's all I got for this one. Hope everyone's out there doing a good job and finding records and having a good time. And things are going well. And, um, I guess I'll see you in the next video.